Angeles tomorrow. Great time for DIY Friday today. We're going to go back to the 70s. Joining us now, Jan Hagerman. By the way, your big sale is when? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, oh yes. <laughs> Half Twin, the price sale. Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity Restore. All right, we're talking string art. I think when it comes to plants in people's homes, mm -hmm. they have seen the hot trend of like the macrame, the, oh, the macrame. which is straight out of the 70s. We did it. And we did so it so this, much. Right? And so much this. So I'm going to take the hat off, but I'm going to tell you the reason we've got the hat on is because our new Brighton store is expanding. So mm. we're That's very exciting. excited about That's that. Nice, Keep your yeah. eye open for that. Cool. String art was so hot in the 70s, mm -hmm. and it's back. Um, what's really cool is if you hit Pinterest, you can find patterns, patterns. for almost anything. And of course, you brought of the course. Minnesota pattern. Where, we, where can we see that? I mean, that why do we, do we need any other patterns? No. And, no, the heart, and no. a little heart right by the cities. All right. Well, you can put the heart wherever you want. Yep, but you um, this yeah, one, of course. Maybe your heart is in Brainerd, or maybe it's in true. Red Wing, wherever this you want. This one, it. yeah, another pattern, but. Um, some people know that my daughter happens to be named Priscilla, so, mm -hmm. you know, why not make one for her? Perfect. That's nice. Um, so, the pattern, put mm -hmm. it on your piece of, on your board. Mm -hmm. um, Just taper down. Taper down. Yep. The nail, the, you can see where to hit the nails. Mm -hmm. Pound the nails in. Um, if you want to use something like a tweezers to hang on to it, because they do get a little bit close. A little wobbly. Um, there you go. Heather's going to hammer for us. Oh, All right, boy. get hammered. I'm going to stick. Not my, a good idea. I'm going to stick my hand in there to hold it. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would not be wise. You know, the tricky glass part. Top table. Yeah, I know, right? The trick. I'm going to be very careful. The tricky part about this, Jen, is making sure you get them all to the right. Well, you know level, what? And I, right? I didn't bring it, but um. That's, that's uh, gonna, it's going to take you a, a week if you do it like that. Break the table. If you use a clothespin, yeah, and you can kind of measure with oh. a clothespin as you're going ah, along. That's smart. And all they're right. all the same height. Okay. And then whether you're using, this is what's called pearl cotton. It's a little thicker than a uh, regular thread. You could use embroidery floss. You can use yarn. It just depends on what you want to do. So this, I always wonder what the trick is for how you thread it, right? Mm -hmm. Like I get that, no, it's okay. you know, you, you hammer in the nails like this, but how do you kind of wind the thread right. through? You try it, and if you don't like it, you unwind you it. Just do it over. Try, do it again. You know, <laughs> right. if, if you want to go in straight lines. How I long did it take you to do this? Oh, a couple hours. Okay. Yeah. But That's if pretty. you look at the, the, the petals, I wanted it to be kind of petal shaped. I like so that. So I yeah. went in kind of a starburst. Um, the leaves, it was like, yeah, they kind of look a little bit like a pine mm -hmm. frond. Or yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, you could have gone around the outside, but I like how you went yeah, on the right. inside and came and out. And you can add, different look. you could add beads onto it. Um, sure. Mm -hmm. Everything you need. Make it totally Except 70s. for the yarn. Mm -hmm. right. Of course, at puka the restore. shells, could you put puka shells on there? Oh, puka or, shells. Yeah. Right. Let's and go all in. Turn your incense while you're doing it. <laughs> could you just start kind of wherever you want, too? Yep, start okay. wherever you want. I put a, 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 an outline around the edge, mm -hmm. and then it's like, let's go this way. Yeah. Oh, And okay. see what happens. Cool. Oh, yeah, a little bit of trial and error. And, you know, yeah. do I like that? That's neat. It's kind of zigzaggy. Maybe, no. maybe, I'm maybe not. Say no, okay. you probably so don't. But start then over. you start over. Yeah. It's fine, right. right? Add a different color. Go a different direction. And you do. What do you What do you search for on Pinterest when you're looking for these patterns? Ready? Okay. Yep. String art pattern. There it is. <laughs> no way. Hey, you know, right, good old Jim. Pinterest. Right. Yeah. That's good. All right, good stuff. Yeah. Nice, and you can find, of course, the wood and stuff at, at the restore. Okay. Except, and then, except for the thread. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then real quick, when should people see the New Brighton store expanding? Like, um, when will that we're be kind of hope. If you want to come and volunteer, yep. you can certainly do that now. Yep. Um, but we are uh, anticipating opening in May. Cool. Great. Can you and put the hard hat back on? I can put the hard hat back on. <laughs> and the best part is our parking lot is big enough for every customer that wants oh, to come good. and see us. They'll now. appreciate Great. that in your oh, brain for sure. WCCO.com slash links has all the information on where to shop, how you can donate, plus, of course, how you can volunteer at the Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity Restore. Jen, thank you. Thank yes. you. Have Heather's a good weekend. I'm very, very excited.